All right, today we have a 17-year-old basketball player with a low back strain um, and also accompanying muscle spasms. This patient is also five days post-injury. Um, post and the type of modality that I will use for this patient specifically um, is heat therapy. Um, and with that, we're gonna use a hot pack. So if you just follow me. When we're using a hot pack, you want to make sure that you come to the hydroculator, you inspect it. Um, we're looking for calibration as well as the hygiene of it. So I'm looking at the calibration it is within the range of inspection, which is great. We're also going to go inside or open it using our tongues. I'm looking at the, hy the hygiene of it. It's clean. And so I want to make sure that it's 160 to 166 degrees, which it is. And then we're going to use a... wrapping so we come here place the wrapping on the pad make sure that is nice and secured in and then we walk back over to our patient Before we apply the modality, we want to make sure that um, we disclose to our patient some of the contraindications, which include um, pregnancy, open wounds, infections, um, and also menstruation. Now, um, with this modality also, you want to take into account for its use, uh, which will be to control muscle spasms, also for subacute or chronic condition, and also to increase range of motion and skin temperature. Before applying the hot pack to our patient's lower back, you want to make sure that you layer it appropriately with five to six layers. So I'm going to use towels to layer that. And then Hannah, my patient, are you comfortable with me rolling up your shirt? Yeah. The patient is positioned prone um, with a pillow placed underneath their stomach for comfort. And then before I apply it, I want to just inspect the back for any um, open wounds, uh, scars, and also looking at um, any like swelling, which I don't see. So next I'll apply the hot pack. And treatment time usually goes between 20 and 30 minutes. Um, and you also want to make sure that uh, it is appropriately layered. You want to check in with your patient every five minutes just to see um, how effective the hot pack is. And then also don't forget to ask your patient if they have used a hot pack before or haven't. You want to educate them on that. And then once it's nice in place, you allow your patient to receive the treatment and that would be concluding the process.